A state line farming community comes together to help a family facing personal and potential economic tragedy. One local grower just lost his dad and partner last week. The son didn't know how he was going to finish his fields. Michelle Rave joins us now in the studio. Michelle, today that question was answered. It sure was, and it certainly came as a surprise to Casey Walling after unexpectedly losing his father. He tells me his friends supported him when he needed it most. Uh, me and my dad farmed together. Um, he had his and I had mine, but the work we did together, no matter whose it was. Casey Lawling remembers days in the field with his father. Gary Lawling died last Thursday from health complications. The pair still had some work left to do for the fall harvest when the unexpected happened. Some of my friends grouped together and uh, decided to help us out with uh, finishing up our fall harvest. So today we're at the last of the work that we need to do and uh, with amazing friends we're, we're gonna make sure we get done. The work that would have taken days done in just hours thanks to the help of over 10 local farmers. Austin Babbler was just one of many who without hesitation volunteered to lend a hand. I've been friends with Casey now for a little bit and Casey's a good dude. Um, if the roles were reversed any one of us he'd be right here with us helping so the least we could do. Lawling describes his father as a humble man and says seeing the support shows the kind of man he was. Just genuine all around, just a good person, a uh, man of faith and, and a man of many friends. So that's how we're here and why we have help today and it's, it's just because of the uh, how the how he was, you know. Through this devastating time for the family, Lawling is thankful for everyone. They did that on their own, and that's just uh, more of a reflection on who my dad was, because he was always willing to help people, even if he had a mountain of work himself. He he'd drop anything he could do to help people, somebody else, and that's what they're doing here today. So. Casey tells me all the work that needed to be completed was accomplished thanks to the help of all the local farmers. Eric.